What's up, world? This is Fragniac, and I got some news for you, man, concerning Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We on Blops 3 now, cuz? Yes. Yo, so, there's a couple pieces of information. One is that y'all gonna be end up spending a little bit more money, myself probably included, but check this out, right? ESRB is a US-based rating system that determines the level for each game that comes out, right? So, like, on a need for speed, it'll be like teen, um, you know, something like God of War would be rated mature. These, these are the dudes that do this here, right? So they, they kind of they kind of fucked up. There was a leak, uh, I want to say about three, two, three weeks ago, some some shit like that, where a Brazilian actor, I think it's a dude that plays Rick Tovin, um, actually released an Instagram post and he hashtag Black Ops 3 in it, right? It was immediately taken down. Like, he took it down immediately, yo. I wasn't able to grab any of that. But I did grab this from ESRB. What they did was they actually released this information, man, for all the up and coming games that's coming out for 2017, uh, all the DLCs, all that good jazz, you know, cause they gotta rate all that shit, right? So what ended up happening was they actually put this out in addition to other games and they didn't know that they weren't supposed to put that shit out. Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, Zombie Chronicles, platform Windows PC, PS4, Xbox One, and it gives all the description, uh, descriptors, excuse me, the rating summary, all that good shit that they actually need. So this is a, little, a legit piece of information, man. If y'all ain't already got this gun saved with your computer and shit, just in case they try to bullshit y'all and tell y'all it's not real. Yo, so Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles should be coming out. Hopefully in the next month or so, they gotta wait for the nostalgia to wear off from Infinite Warfare, DLC dropping, Call of Duty World War II, uh, trailer and reactions and all that bullshit to drop. Um, so they gotta wait for all that nostalgia to wear off, right? So, for this one here though, it's gonna be eight multiplayer maps, but it's only gonna be multiplayer zombies. Now, the maps are the same maps that they had for old cards, right? So they're gonna be remastered maps. I have no idea whether or not they're gonna put any additional easter eggs or anything like that in there but these are going to be remastered maps from old cards now it given that activision's bread and butter is zombies i can see why they did this it would have been dope if they would have put out another another multiplayer map or something like that you know what I'm saying mix it up a little bit but it's cool now if if y'all really think about it like this right hear, hear, hear me out because y'all gonna have to pay some money and, and me included but hear me out when anything is released any dlc is released Y'all motherfuckers had to pay the money for it. Why wouldn't they do it now for this? Being that it's a zombies only, being that it's their bread and butter, being that they want that money, they, they want to tap your pockets. That's what they're trying to do here. I, I truly believe this thing is not going to be as expensive as a regular DLC. It might be, you know, under, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be under $50 or whatever we pay for the DLCs when they come out and shit. For season pass holders, I'm hearing a lot of buzz that we ain't going to get that shit for free either. So if we got the DLC, I mean, excuse me, the season pass, then that's just for the four multiplayer maps, one zombies map every quarter. And that was it. Like, we got what we paid for. And they were dope ass maps. Some of them. Garak Rovi. But yo, they were dope ass maps for the most part, man. But I think we're going to have to end up paying for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, being that, again, it's just zombies. They want to tap your pockets. They're going to get that money either way. I just think that it's a smart business move. I think, I don't think it's you know kind of shitting on everybody else that actually got the season pass because shit we got what we paid for you feel me and, I, and I'm, I'm happy with that but this shit was just released yo we just got this information i just got this information like an hour ago and i thought i'd go ahead and put up a video also i want to know exactly what's going on and how y'all feel about this shit man y'all think it's dope y'all think it's ass do y'all think y'all should even pay for it I know a couple people are gonna say, yeah, we should have to pay for it, but there's gonna be a lot of y'all that don't really. I, I just wanna know what y'all think down in the comment section. Let me know, man. We're gonna be back with more live streams very, 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 very soon. So, and I'm ready, I'm hyped for it, man. I got all my shit set up, young. I'm just waiting for the internet to come, the new internet package that we got to come back in because what we got right now is ass, total ass. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. Let me know once again down in the comment section below what y'all think about this. Because this is it's a really big topic. It's going to be a lot of stuff to come out in the next week or so. I don't believe this to be out, you know, the actual DLC to be available until next month. Maybe the month after next or something like that. Yo, but I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Once again, I'm Fragniac. You're awesome, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Shit, let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah damn, a score streak's going in. Oh, oh no. Ah, fifty and eight. Let's keep going, baby. Oh my God, look at.
Look at that feed. The feed is nasty. Yo, the feed is real right now. Nope.